Hey, this is Cam Shea, and joining me today is the lovely Lucy O'Brien. Hello, Cam Shea. And we are going to play uh, through a little bit of the, the beginning of Sunset Overdrive. Awesome. Uh, now, I think we first of all, we go straight into character creation. Yep. So we'll just whip through this because we can kind of make adjustments um, once we're actually into the game proper. And, you know, as fun as it might be to create a hideous freak of nature over the next half an hour, <laughs> I think people will just want to probably get into the game. Let's so, go with that one. You go with that one, mm -hmm. okay? All right. How? Uh, what, what, what would you like here? Which face? Mm, well, you know, I'm so I'm kind of one of those people that always awkwardly model my oh, avatar on myself. <laughs> See, but this is this is this is going to be a, a really mean thing because no matter who I pick, uh, because let's face it, you're quite pale, I so it would have to be pale. one of these freaks of nature. Oh uh, wow! There's so going to be alien or. Let's go with... Okay, I'm going to be a bit like flattering to yeah, myself and yeah. go with the one above. Yeah, let's go with her. <laughs> <laughs> she's slightly more tan than me. Uh, she's slightly more tan than you. Uh, slightly darker complexion. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, what, are we, what are we thinking here? Mm, okay. Now, bear in mind, we can give you... Uh, some some the two two hair colors you've got like a high base color and a highlight color right uh so oh faux hawk all right faux hawk it Please. is now hair base color nice blue yeah blue yep and then i guess to go with that we'd want to go green mm, yeah punky kind of yep. green i like it it's got a very kind of punky soundtrack so yep. this, this makes sense uh and by the way uh for oh hello Wow. This is this now we're talking. <laughs> I think uh I really like the full beard. Really? <laughs> Alright, let's go with that. That's awesome. <laughs> and uh yeah, so if you don't know what Sunset Overdrive is, this is uh the latest game from Insomniac. It's an open world, very colourful, very tongue in cheek, um, action game. And as you can see, yeah, it's uh it's got a good sense of humor about it. What do you what do you think? I kind of like it's got a match, right? Well, I kind of like the dirty honestness of the full black beard. Okay. Yeah, no, it's so, so do I. it's so kind of grubby and I like that. Yeah, let's go with that. All right. Okay, all right. It doesn't really matter. Let's just go blue. Oh, okay. Done. Sweet. Nice. Enable the vulgarity filter in the logo option in the options menu. I don't think I'll be filtering my vulgarity. No, I don't. Much. I don't think that we want to do that. IGN already imposes a vulgarity filter on you and I, <laughs> uh, just by virtue of the style guide. Uh, but the game is under no such uh, yes, so no how, such restriction. I mean, how 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 vulgar are we talking here? Uh, I don't think particularly vulgar. Right, just yeah. fun. I mean, I, I only counted four or five C-bombs in the first ten minutes. Okay. Uh, Just four or five, that's tame. Yeah, no, exactly. I, as an Australian, I generally like <laughs> 20 to 30 uh, in the opening cutscene. All right. So give us some context here, Cam. Uh, the context is I'm just going to quickly invert the controls. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, all right, here we go. Sorry, here we go. Sorry, the context is uh, this is Sunset City. And actually, there there is no context at this at this stage. I mean, like you're this not is where really the game you yeah, in. you're not really meant to know anything. You're just basically like, oh dear, what are these mutants doing? I gotta get the hell out of here. In fact, the the game kind of has a uh, it's kind of interesting the way it does introduce it because it kind of is a, is a little bit a little bit back to front, which you'll see. Okay. Um, but you know, it just wants to get you. In front of the controls. Well, so as a world, obviously, you know, we've seen a lot of marketing around this game. This world is really super colourful. Yep. And covered with graffiti and neon, which I like. Yeah, no, completely. It's a it's a really uh, attractive world, and it's definitely. I mean, the the thing is that you you can kind of fool yourself sometimes into thinking that. Uh, that some games like could potentially be done on on last gen. Yeah, but th there's just no way. It's so pretty, uh, and it's so uh, so detailed, Ooh. and just so such vibrant color. Look All at right. This guy. Whoa! I better run away. Oh, I'm gonna run away again. Back this way. 
immediately you can see how much of a ge uh, an insomnia game this is. You know what? It also feels an enormous amount like a sucker punch game in, in terms of mechanics, right. in terms of traversal mechanics. Uh, but what uh, but what Insomniac has done is just take that kind of really satisfying freeform kind of traversal and just up it to the nth degree. Yep. Uh, all right. And how much um, how much is sort of like. I mean, obviously, we'll, we'll play through it, but um, how much of your time is spent kind of in the air, zapping around these lines and the traversing across high-rises and stuff like that? The idea is very much like you shouldn't touch the ground unless you actually want to touch right. the ground. Right. Um, <laughs> compensate. That gun's got balls. Yep. Now I'm off to. Oops. Let's kill these guys. Oh dear. <laughs> Alright, let's hop on back on. So. Okay. I can do this. Get his oh glowing dear. weak point. You mean his body? His whole body. <laughs> but yeah, you definitely want to spend as much time like moving around as possible. Right. Uh, just because like, you know, you will take a fair bit more damage if you're, if you're not a moving target. And also because grinding is fun. Which is a lesson that uh, we've known for a very, very large number of years. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and that's um, Uncle Jack. Uh, I'm guessing. Uh, grizzled survivor, no doubt. And that was very kind of him. You must see something in you, some raw potential, perhaps. <laughs> uh, which is useful because if nobody saw anything in you, then they'd probably be much more interested in their own hides. So, what, what, how are you feeling about the uh, the movement, loose? Well, I mean, I think it looks it looks it's it looks very fluid. It's it's got a kind of you know, I'm liking this kind of. As I said, like this sort of ability to switch between shooting and gliding and, and doing all that sort of thing. Um, it seems really, it feels really seamless. Mm. Uh, and we should, I should also kind of say at this point that uh, because this is pre review, yep. uh, and I'm not doing the review for Agen, by the way, I'm, I, I've just been playing it for fun. Uh, because this is pre review, uh, the review embargo hasn't lifted, so right. we actually can't really talk about anything beyond. This first, you know, hour or two of the game that we're we're allowed to capture. Yeah. Um, so, like, the you know the the documentation even says like, don't even hint at your overall impression. So, I think I'm gonna have to take any and all adjectives uh, and just replace them with blank. Okay. <laughs> so, um, hey man, this this like I you know I obviously I can't say too much, but it, the blank really blanked my blank. Right, and right. For, for I'm swearing, pleased that it blanked your blank. And for the vulgarity fans out there, you can replace the blank in your head with swearing as well. So that's an added bonus. Anyway, so that was kind of post, you know, the city going to hell. And this yep. is pre the city going to hell. Okay. Uh, so we've got uh, Captain Fizzy Pants, yep. the mascot for Fizzco uh, on stage. Now tell me a little bit about Fizzco, because like, I'm, I'm kind of in the dark about this, but I realize that the Fizzco is, is a very important part of Sunset Overdrive. Yeah. Uh, it's just a, like, a, 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 a corporation, multinational corporation, uh, peddling right. expensive water and energy drinks and all that stuff. Uh, and so this is, this is basically the launch for their, their, new, their newest product. Uh, and you are, you know, obviously the, uh, the, the, the freak circus that yep. you generally are a part of, and that's how you make your money. Uh, you know, they're taking a break for, you know, it's the off season yep. for freak shows. Yeah. So as the bearded woman, you basically just have to get a menial job. So right. you're just kind of cleaning Understandably. up. Understandably. And I really like it how she just hasn't, Shaved her beard. She just she's owning it. Well, the the thing about being a freak is that that's that's who you are. Yeah, it's, it's not something that you're putting on. And also, it takes ages to grow a full beard back too. 
Oh. Uh, so this is a typical response to energy drinks. Right. Um, only maybe just slightly uh, more monsterism. Yep. I would say. And so there you go. That's it's just that fast. Is uh, party people turn into, you know, mutated freaks. Awesome. More so. Okay, so this is the city turning to hell. Yep. With the nice handy signpost thing just yeah. to spell it out for you. I like that as a design choice. I yeah, they I, I love all that kind of like in world um kind of signposting. Yeah. Even when it's like it's it's artifice, it's like a it's like a augmented reality layer over the world. Like I I just think it's you know, when done well it's got a lot of stuff. Well Splinter Cell did that very well, didn't it? That Splinter Cell I completely forgot the name of the game. Yeah, 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 it did. Yeah. Splinter Cell The two thousand and Splinter Cell Stealth um, Stealth <laughs> Stealth Bros. <laughs> anyway, so that was the beginning of Sunset Overdrive. Yeah, so what we might do is we might do a little bit more customization and then come back once we've done that for part two. Sounds good. All right, thanks Luce. Bye. Bye.